Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. One of the most popular categories on our channel is catch, clean, and cook videos. And, you know, it's grown a lot of the other YouTube channels up in the millions. I know you guys want to watch them. But today, I'm going to show you just how hard it is to film a successful catch, clean, and cook video. So y'all stay tuned. So when you go out and you try to film a catch, clean, and cook, or a hunt, clean, and cook video, you know, you got big plans when you, when you start out there. But things just don't always work out. Today, I'm going to show you a little compilation of some of those times. Stingray. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, he just hooked him, barely. <laughs> That's why we have this. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna pull mine up out of the way. It's like a pretty good sized fish, whatever it is. Got the net right here. Rookie luck, man. Oh, big catfish. <laughs> Boo, I'm not putting him in the net. <laughs> well, there's a big one though. I was like, it pulled the whole cork under. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> well, at least he didn't swallow it. That's a yeah. close. <laughs> oh, get him. Okay, be still. Little bastard. Hey, welcome to Backwoods Gourmet. It's zero dark dirty. Got the boat hooked up, heading to Tampa Bay to do a little fishing. So maybe this will be another catch, clean, and cook. We'll see. All right, folks, we're finally on the water. It's after 8 o'clock. I got up at uh, 4 a.m. Right, this park doesn't open till 7.30, so no huge uh, thing to rush out here, so we're going to go right out here on a flat. Um, right out in front of us here. Go top water for a little bit, it's pretty still. Then we're going to go set the crab traps. Eights. Big ones. how long it was going to be till I caught one of these guys. Trying to get rid of them hooks. Get a D-hooker. Oh, there's something big, big trout, big trout. There's stump trolls that are right in here.
spot him right there. I think it's a seal cat though. Small shark. Shovel head shark, I think. Check out the shark. <clears throat> A shark. Don't know which. He's on this one right here. Carrying it around on a shrimp. Uh, no. He's actually on the other line with the live bait on it, and I got this one tangled up in it. See if we can get that mess loose before he takes off and burns all this out of my hands. When you're trying to fish by yourself, you got too many rods in the water. Uh, I actually think he's on this one. Not sure. Or was. There, there he is. Yep. That's probably Mr. Shark. Or catfish. Nope, I believe that is Mr. Shark. Yep, Mr. Shovel hit Shark. Just now figured out he's hooked. You can see him running all around here. See if he swallowed it. <sighs> Little guy. Yeah, I see no hook, so it's gonna be cut and release here. This came alive. Cut him close to the... Alright, we're done dragging a greenie back there. Too many of those guys. Okay, so I got my bobble going down. Maybe hung in the weeds? I don't know. Any catfish? Hard head. Big one. I think it's a seal cat. I'm not having for dinner, but now he's got my other lure just wrapping up in it. Yeah. What I thought. Wasting my time here. No way I can throw this thing this deep in the water. I can barely throw it on dry land. But, did get to cool off a little bit. Alright, so we got crab traps baited. We're right in the edge of eight foot of water coming into a little Manatee River over here. Right on the edge of the drop off. I'm watching the depth finder here. 6.3 right on the edge of the channel. So I'm gonna ease out just a little bit. We got them all baited up. <clears throat> Get a couple of these over and we'll see what they do while we're fishing the day. Spread them out of ways here. A lot of mullet running up and down these shores here. Got a pretty good place to fish too. So if any of you guys are kayakers and you watch uh, Zoffinger here, uh, 
on Tampa Bay with his kayak stuff. We're right up this river here now. So hopefully he gets his uh, kayak business running and uh, we'll go visit him. So we'll get ready to drop the next one. Right at seven feet of water. So let's go ahead and put her down. We're fishing. All right, so we got that done. Now let's run out to the shipping channel, see if we can find a mangrove snapper. All right, so we just cruised past trap location one, no float. I mm. don't know if somebody cut it off, somebody took it, or what. Not expecting a lot from this one. These traps have only been soaking for about four hours. We'll see what happens. If I can get a hold of it. The tide's running pretty hard now. Running right around it. One with the missing floats, my brand new one too. Zippo, zero, not a nothing, kind of what I was expecting. Here. Expecting about the same from this one, Zippo. Really, unless you let these guys soak for, you know, a week or more, doesn't have a whole lot of opportunity to catch crabs unless there's a millions of them here. We were kind of hoping they were, but it doesn't hurt to put them out. Some kind of freezer burn fish I had in, it. in the freezer, so no big deal. At least we got it back. So while we're waiting on these storms to do their to do their thing, we got a nice big green we caught out there on the weed line. Let's go ahead and hook him up. I'll hook him up right through the nose. A nice hook here, and we're gonna maybe catch a tarpon on. Or maybe a, even better, a great big snook. That's perfect size for a big snook. And I got so much junk in the boat. We're right on the edge of the channel. Good spot. Put him out there and see who's home.
couldn't tell if they were Jake's. And kind of back on the road over there where we come in. But that was us calling. We just heard a gobbler from down toward the creek. So maybe we can call him up. It's like midday or Just got done trudging out of there. So, you know, we didn't get one this weekend, but we'll just keep trying. That was exciting. That was exciting. Didn't get him, but it was still exciting. Alright guys, so my new camera battery life is not that great. There you go. There's another 15 inch Florida black crab. Oh, this time you have a big croaker. Bring him up. He's got another line wrapped around him or something. Bring him in. Caught on somebody else's old fishing line. All right, see if you can pull this one. That's in. Hold on, let me cut this and hold on. Let me get the fish loose from it first. this mess out of the water. Now it's going to be close to 14. Let me get the net. Here. It's going to be another 13 and a half incher. Thirteen and a eight. <laughs> oh, 
Hold on, he ain't done yet. Strong one. Hold on, Alan. Lift it, take the net out of the water, please. Hey, Amen. All right, now go under him. Oh, he's over here, honey. That might be a keeper. Aww. Black drone, baby. I don't know if he's a keeper or not, though. He was just a strong one. Hey, guys, this is turning out to be a great trip. Guess what we got here? Sea robin. Look at that nasty looking joker. Get him over here in the light. He's spiky. Yeah, he's spiking me now. See those spikes? Look at him off the hook and we'll show him a little closer to him. Well, a closer picture of him. Look at those wings. That's what they call him, sea robin. Look at those wings. Wow.